we got our last one of the set. And I'm feeling solid still. So we're going to go with a Karakon against someone who's only played 15 games. And that never makes me feel optimistic that the rating has any validity at all. And I'm playing a system that I very much like. I remember last time I talked about it in the videos, it's like, why don't people recommend this? And somebody said in the comments, well, the top guys don't share their best stuff, or something to the effect. I guess you don't know anything about Chessable. Because when everyone has engines and can make assessments of positions and question the author directly, that's why Chessable is the best company. And I do not say that because I work for them. I say it because it's true. All right, F4, I feel like taking. And we definitely have a playable position. I don't know if White still has his first move edge, but it's not feeling like it. After that move, all right, you took wrong once you'll take wrong twice. Let's put her there. And that was wrong. Yeah, can't take with the queen. So that was actually stupid. I, won, I was looking at queen b6 followed by knight e3. But here, if knight takes, pawn takes, bishop g5. Now I have queen b6, I'm fine. I just don't want him to be able to utilize the open F file. Okay, I'll go for my initial intention. Bishop here. I'll give it back to get time. That passive move makes me feel good. Because in order to move the rook later, he's going to have to make another move, like c3, which could make the d3 pawn weak. Time management seems to be a problem, so we'll be using that later. It'll induce some sort of mistake as the game gets more critical. Also, based off my opponent's time management, I'm going to look to continue to keep complications. So here, trading is out of the question, mostly because of his time, but it would help with his development. Queen f2, knight a6, if takes, takes. I don't mind the structure because it's developing my rook for free. And like I said, time management. Opponent was starting to show that he's struggling to find a plan or is just trying too hard, which this happens. All right, I need to get developed. And I don't like the idea of a knight coming to f6. So we're just going to do that in the meantime. Okay. Let's go here to encourage that, which gets a piece that wasn't doing anything to at least a slightly better square. A 
and if you want to trade you trade on my terms and I get time and an open file so we traded advantages a little bit here Pawns are pawns, friend. Pawns are pawns. We've done the damage. Now we just return. No problems. No fear. Only pain for you. Not like that. I wanted to play knight a4, but felt like it could have potential drawbacks. Let's wait and see if he'll. Help us out. And he just may. Hmm, that's annoying. Okay, G4 is a threat, but let's go there first. That should win. Rook F1, that. Fair enough. Mm. Speed, friend. It's not necessary to think and try to play for perfection here. And when you get used to 3-2, your heart rate doesn't even go up when you get in time trouble like that. That's one of the things that I think pushed me to 2600 was starting to play this time control a lot more and get used to it. And it's a good question of, like, well, what's White supposed to be doing? Because I felt his development was a bit awkward. Knight E2 just doesn't cut it. I mean, the engine already likes black. I don't care what the database says. You can take a look at the top game as well from 2021. Let's see, takes, takes. And I felt like that 
was going to be the best option as you get to play against an isolated pawn. That's what I would have done, 100%. And then these... I said, I considered queen takes e1, but my opponent was using gobs of time. Ooh, queen e7. That, 100% was not on my radar. Now, f7 falls. Yeah, I thought I was just coasting. No problems, but not the case at all. My opponent played accurately. He had a big edge there, but now time trouble got the better of him. And notice how I am looking to eliminate counterplay. Knight d3 I didn't see a good follow-up with, though. Like, knight d3, rook d2. What is Ah! Completely missed knight e1 in that line. So I look to improve the position without risk. And then he found some decent counterplay when he had to. When he no longer was overthinking the position, he started doing pretty well. And I allowed the time to get close, but this is why you study tactics on a regular basis. And I was trying to find the killing stroke here, but realized there's no need. Make a few quick moves, gain time on the clock, and as soon as I got a few seconds leeway, I knew and I had found the right plan. The pawns continue to march forward, and that's going to be it for this one in this, what is it, King's Indian Karo Khan with G6 flavor.